Hey, what's up, guys? Aaron over here, and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. Episode number 71 today for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix at Jeddah. For the very first time, we come to Jeddah in a My Team Career Mode on this game. And this is the penultimate round of this truly iconic Season 4 we have had so far. And we've got two final races to go. This one is going to be so interesting. We've seen how spicy and crappy prone and chaotic this race was in real life let alone in the game and on top of that having a grid which is pretty much maxed out fully most of the teams so that just makes the speed of every car even quicker around already what is the fastest street circuit in Formula 1 now and this is a very crucial race in the entire championship because my hopes of a championship this season hang by a thread as following last episode the Brazilian Grand Prix please go check it out if you haven't already. We are tra trailing Pierre Gasly by 20 points. Button is 8 points back so even that is a bit of a sizable gap in career mode terms, especially considering how consistent Gasly and Button have been. Obviously the biggest blip for Button in the last couple of races has been that Singapore Grand Prix. Gasly, he's not been off the podium since, uh, well, the Italian GP, so it's been a very good run and you can see why Pierre is maybe leading the championship here as obviously myself and Jensen had a few tougher races, I guess you could say, ever since Maybe I got that 1-2 with him at the Belgium Grand Prix. Italy wasn't straightforward, even though the result was pretty okay. You can see there in the chart. Brazil was not a great result for us. It was the opposite of what we needed. Going into this race weekend, Mercedes, though, are bringing us an extra upgrade into this weekend. So that's going to be a massive aid to me and a hopefully a bit of a boost of morale going to this race weekend, knowing that we have a little bit extra power maybe to help us at, you know, what is a circuit where you definitely need a lot of straight line speed. It's going to be a weird balancing act on the setup trying to get you know the least amount of downforce to reduce the drag but still having enough obviously to you know make it work in what is a very tight twisty high speed first sector especially the last two sectors a little bit less so in terms of raw downforce you kind of just need to make sure you keep the car going in a nice decent line and not lose too much momentum as you go left and right for those really quick long long kind of corners which aren't even corners really they don't feel like it but here we are then barrel into turn one in Q1. The sun is not fully down here yet in Jeddah, but it soon will become a night weekend, obviously, as we get through into Q3. But first, we actually have to make it through into that session, and nothing's been guaranteed so far this season in qualifying and in the race, and it's going to be even more so here in Jeddah. As I said, it's you know, a completely new circuit to us in my team career mode with max stat cars, so I just don't know who's going to be quicker. There's no form guide to even go off in terms of previous seasons when we We've not had max star cars because this is the very first season we're coming to this circuit so we're just gonna have to take it as it comes and right now Perez is fastest in Q1 Gasly though worryingly for myself and Jensen up there in P2 Giovinazzi though in third in the Alfa Romeo which is mad he's gone 3.2 seconds quicker than uh Gio than his teammate Latifi or three seconds quicker because he's eight tenths off Perez who also had a stonking alien sort of time there really a 122.7 from the Mexican so I definitely don't think this is the pecking order seeing as Giovinazzi's right up there but you know what I mean this is just proving that it's a complete new circuit anything can happen and it will happen and that continues for us in Q2 because our DRS gets stuck open my rear wing breaks but in a sort of good way because around a circuit like this where like I said you don't actually need that much downforce because you're going so quick the car naturally is producing so much so you don't need so much wing angle so the DRS being open is actually good for us in a way so you know I wouldn't mind this happening to us in Q3 because you're about to see we're going to set a really quick lap time compared to everyone else there we've got a bit of a slipstream from Bottas as well across the line we get through into Q3 it's a 1-2 right now in this session but we went one second quicker than Button because our DRS was stuck open for pretty much two thirds of that entire lap so uh, a, a fault with the car actually made us quicker there but obviously we aren't you know going to get that in Q3 I highly doubt it, can you imagine? But um, so that we get through easily, then buttons through Gasly is as well. So, you know, for the championship fight, that's the kind of important thing. All three of us are through, but Giovinazzi actually made it through into Q3. I don't know what's going on here. The Alfa Romeo just apparently suits this one particular 
the circuit for some reason. Bottas only just about scraped through. Very, very odd. This is what I mean. There's just no form guide because we've never come here. So this is, uh, yeah, it could be an interesting top 10 shootout. On our first fly, though, making a little bit of a mistake, locking up on the front left and going a bit deep into turn one. And we lose, well, at least I would say a tenth or two, I'd say, because we also lost momentum then uh, getting the car from the right-hand side to the left and then right again for turn two. And then through the tricky sector one, I can already tell probably the AI are probably quicker in sector one than I am, but we're finding speed in sector two and three, especially sector two. I'm being a lot more committed, I think, than some of these AI through some of those longer corners where it's a bit blind. We're having, I, I, have, I have quite good confidence, I think. And I'm actually really enjoying the circuit. You know, the circuit may be a bit bland for wheel to wheel racing. And it was in real life. It was more just chaos, obviously, in terms of the incidents and whatnot. But in the game, I think this is actually going to be a very, you know, well, I think we're going to see a pretty entertaining race, I hope, because this track flows really, well on the game and with the slipstream that we know you can get on the game when there's ever a long straight like this like this very straight here i think we're in for a real treat maybe but let's see what we can do we're down to p8 so this needs to be a good lap we made up for turn one we gained some time there purple second sector like i told you looking good in sector two here we are five tenths up what is this going to be it's going to be enough for the front row of the grid not quite pole position that goes to the finn valtteri Bottas for a second time now this season we share the front row with Valtteri Bottas there in first place in the Williams button down in P5 Gasly P6 so that is a very good qualifying session for us I mean you know, I would obviously love them to be a little bit lower, you know, maybe P9 or 8, but I'll take it. Being ahead of them on the grid, can we try and emulate what we did at Belgium when we're in second place and Bottas was in first? Can we overtake him early and then just run away with it and try and control the race? I don't know. I don't think we're going to exactly get that chance because this circuit's very different to Belgium. I think there's going to be at least one safety car, you would say, around here. So, uh, and in general, actually, I just don't know what to expect, obviously, because I've only ever done a 25% race around here for you guys when this first came out as DLC so this really is a stab into the unknown for everyone let's go to the grids and find out so here we are then welcoming you today to one of the jewels of the Arab world Jeddah one of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia second only to Riyadh gateway to Mecca and one of the biggest ports in the region and now host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. An interesting circuit this one, the newest on the Formula One calendar. And like most street circuits, it's sure to present the drivers with an interesting technical challenge. Some challenging turns for the drivers to negotiate as well. And at the same time, they're going to have to manage their tires very carefully in this heat. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and the owner driver alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Charles Leclerc and Giovinazzi. Sainz, Ricardo, Hamilton and Lando Norris. Russell, Ocon. Pierre Gasly, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Stroll, Joe, Sonoda, Nicholas Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. Ireland, Button, they've taken a grid penalty. Lundgaard, and Nobuharu Matsushita. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. Oh boy, oh boy, this season has another twist in the tale. Jensen Button and Pierre Gasly both have 
grid penalties. This is literally the perfect scenario for us. We're on the front row alongside Bottas. We've already taken our penalties for this season probably. Hopefully we'll go to the end dabu dabu without having to take a grid penalty there as well. But Button has to take another set of penalties like he did in Japan. Gasly as well. Only for the second time. I think Pierre's got very lucky to be honest because I think he's only had to take um, a penalty one other time in this season. So it was kind of overdue compared to myself and Button. Uh, Button's got quite unlucky here because I think he's had maybe three different times he's had to take grid penalties in this season but it kind of balances out in terms of uh, with Gasly at least there but he's taken less of a penalty back on the grid because he's P13 whereas JB is all the way down on the second last row in P20 alongside Callum Eilat so that's uh, well not great news for Jensen because of course he's also chasing Gasly as well as me uh, chasing down Pierre by 20 points J uh, Button is chasing down Gasly by 8 so really this is the opposite of what Button needs so this is going to be a long afternoon or a night for Button, for Gasly as well, as well, because he's going to want to try and get in the points, obviously, to limit the damage. And we have got to make the most of it on the second row. I'm sorry, we've got to at least finish on this podium, but we we surely got to be aiming for the win. And that could literally get us right back into this fight. In Q3, there was no way of knowing that those two were going to have penalties for this race. But that, that, that qualifying lap we did to get ourselves on the front row may prove so, so crucial as we rev up to five red lights here in Jeddah for the first time in my team career mode. This second last race of season four is underway as the lights are out. Bottas gets a good start to copycat of Belgium. He cuts across us. We've got Verstappen on our inside as well. Perez there as well. Bit of contact made and we've been spun round. Per Verstappen's hit us. Verstappen's hit us into turn one. Perez is out the Grand Prix. There's a massive pile up at turn one. There's about 10 cars ghosted as they all park up it's a parking lot at turn one at Jeddah. It's like survive in career mode. We check our vehicle and we check it again because I just wasn't sure. The staff and clouted us pretty damn hard. I think Perez as well. But there's thankfully no damage. Thank God for that. But Bottas remains in P1. The safety car is out on lap one. So it took one corner for the safety car to come out here in Jeddah. And this is why then. So Perez was actually on in the middle of myself and Verstappen. And it was Perez that actually initially hit me. And then Verstappen was a secondary hit into the apex of turn two. This is a replay of Perez. So we got a pretty poor launch. Bottas covers us off. Perez in the middle. He gets pinched in by Verstappen. And then his rear, his uh, left tyre just shears off on the left-hand side there. But it's actually Verstappen's presence on the uh, right-hand side of Perez. Perez that kind of forced him into that situation because Verstappen's not yielding. He's staying on the outside. Perez has already hit me at this point once. So that's what I felt initially and started spinning. Verstappen here, he's committed. He's going to cut the curb and carry on. But that leaves Perez in a very iffy position. And unfortunately for him, his tyre shears off on, uh, on my rear right. And then this, I don't even know what this was. This was like a 10-man car park. And this is... What you're seeing right there, for a moment, it's hard to tell because uh, when, when the car ghosts, I can't carry on uh, riding on board. But what you're seeing there is Gasly cuts the corner and gains about two, three positions. Button is on the outside of turn two. He's just playing it safe, trying to avoid incidents. And he actually has to yield about two cars. So he also, like Gasly, did gain some free positions, but then has to give them up because their safety car comes out right behind him. Yellow flags are waved. And I guess he was told to... To, uh, you know, give back the position to, I think, the Haas there. And uh, he has to slot in behind or just ahead of the Haas. But he has to give up the position to Sonoda, that was. So, in the end of it, under the safety car, Gasly is up into P8. Button was in P13 at one point, but he had to move down to P16. So, the big winner in all of that was Pierre Gasly. Things are just going the way of the Frenchman, the way of Alpha Tauri. Because as we come now across the line, he'll gain one more free position because Verstappen's in because he hit me on the uh, bargeboard uh, side and uh, broke his front wing. So we're up into P2, but Gasly's in P7 now after all of that. And Button's still down in about P15 now, I think, with that one free position from Verstappen. So this is, um, well, an interesting start to Jeddah, you must say. And we've got a whole night of racing up ahead of us still because we go green then here in Jeddah once again. Lap number four. 
four now, and Bottas leads the way, but can we make a move into turn one? Ricardo out the Grand Prix, bit of contact made with Bottas, he defends really well, bit of contact made, the Ferrari tried to nip at my heels, we went for this switchback, going from left to right of the circuit, I think the Ferrari got caught up in that, Leclerc maybe has a little bit of front wing damage, the simulation damage proving so, so difficult for the AI so far around here, we carry on though, chasing after Bottas, and confirmation there, Gasly is in P7, Button down in P14, is now the Ferraris are side by side, Leclerc is slow, and Hamilton senses a move, and he makes a fantastic overtake on the inside of both Ferraris, on the banked corner, that looks absolutely, in that camera shot is lovely, as Button looks to overtake Callum Eilat, Sonoda just got past him, so we've got a lot of quick cars trying to make their way through slower traffic here, but it's all for position, so it's all fair racing, and so they're going to have to really actually race it out, as you can see, Eilat squeezes Button out, so these guys are going to have to work for it, you know, the Aston Martins, the Alfa Romeos, they won't just wave them by, they'll put up a bit of a fight there, as Gasly goes around the outside of Russell, and that is going to be very, very close, this is insane racing, and Gasly makes a fantastic move, he's up into P6, what a move for him, can we try and make a move of our own on Valtteri Bottas, no, not quite, Bottas cuts us off, it's a very unique last corner, it's such an open entry, and invites you in for a move, but then tightens up so quickly that you know, the man leading the race can defend quite easily actually into there, but turn one, maybe a different story, can we go the long way around, no lock up from us, and Bottas just keeps it ahead, oh, little grey sidewall to sidewall, this is wheel to wheel stuff, literally with Valtteri Bottas, and Bottas remains ahead, but what an exquisite battle we've had already, only five laps in, I know a couple of them have been under the safety car, so this is the first real full lap we've had of racing with Valtteri, and I must say, he's putting up a massive fight. I didn't think he was going to be this aggressive in the Williams, but I guess he's desperate to try and get a second win under his belt for his new team this season, and uh, we're going to try our best to keep the pressure on as we remain half a second behind. Meanwhile, our teammate Jensen Button doing the work that he needs to do round the outside. A lovely move on the banking up into P11. We've got Gasly up into P5, though, so Button needs to carry on and get a move on as we look to get a move on around the outside of Valtteri Bottas into this last bend. You can see what I mean. Tightens up so awkwardly, so quickly, surprisingly. And now we're side by side to drag race now down to turn one. Hamilton though, in behind in third place. He's actually the quickest man of all. He set the fast up of the Grand Prix into turn one. We lock up. Bottas with a massive dive to come back at us. I didn't expect that or around the outside but Bottas has done it. But we thankfully maintain P1 as we're just able to nip ahead before this, well, pretty much a single file first sector. But in the same fashion we did to him, Bottas comes round the outside into the final corner at the end of lap six. We're literally neck and neck to sidewall tyre, to sidewall of the tyre. And now we may joy be joined by Lewis Hamilton. It might be three wide. Hamilton and Bottas are side by side. Science now sets the fast up of the Grand Prix. We've gone too deep. We've locked up. We've broken too late there. We have to cut across the curb and we have to give the positions back. We cut the corner and so we have to give up the position not only to Bottas but to Hamilton as well. So Hamilton is now up into P2. We've not seen Hamilton drive like this since season one. I don't know what's happened here in Jeddah but he, he's back. He's back. I don't know if his focus was any higher going to this race weekend but he's here in P2 but we're going to try and steal it back big dive on the inside. This is such intense racing. I don't know if it's because the walls are so close, the speed is so quick, or combination, but when you're racing AI wheel-to-wheel -wheel around here, and you're flying through those long corners, it just feels so, so good. Bottas, big lock up into turn one, and he may be susceptible. Turn two, bit wide there. Oh, nearly clouts the wall. We have a little look left and right. Can we go down the inside? We'll use a bit of ERS, and we'll dive down the inside, side by side. Now, Bottas Bottas, though, has the better racing line. My rear end is squirming all over the shop. And Hamilton just does me around the outside. But no, we just about maintain P2. Hamilton can't quite keep it on the curb. But he's going to be there still with DRS. And it's a, it's a much different Lewis Hamilton. Is now Lando Norris. 
with a big dive on the inside of Gasly. The banking catches him napping. And Norris up into P5, Gasly down to P6. It's a great overtake by Lando Norris. And he's helping out his fellow Brit, Jensen Button, who's in P8 now. So Button has quietly overtaken Sonoda and Guan Yu Zhou and Schumacher as well. And ironically also, to be fair, Lando's also helped myself out, of course. Uh, rivals last season, but him overtaking Gasly helps me out, of course, because it's a few less points Gasly's getting and a few more points I'm getting on him trying to erode that 20-point deficit as best we can. But Button already on the back, I think, of George Russell as I am on the back of Valtteri Bottas within one second. We've broken away from Hamilton. Can we try and make a move on Valtteri into turn one? Yet again, we do this tango into turn one on the inside again, jockeying for position, but I just don't have the confidence on the braking and Gasly is in for an early pit stop. Is that just an undercut I want? The lap 10, it is a one stop race but no, it's not just an undercut, he's had damage. I wonder when uh, Norris dived down the inside of him at the, at the banking maybe he was pushed wide a bit and tapped the wall and so he's changed his front wing. So Gasly with an early pit stop, to be fair though because it's a one stop and with the tyre wear, that early stop he may negate the time he's lost with the front wing change with the fact that he's going to be on fresher tyres. But he's on hard. See, he's chosen the hard to end the Grand Prix. So that should actually help Jensen out in his battle with Pierre. For me, though, the interest is only P1 with Bottas. But like I was alluding to just before we cut onto that pit stop for Pierre, we just don't have the same confidence on the braking. You can see Bottas, although we do get him into this last corner, Bottas actually initially has better braking than I do because I'm locking up everywhere. I'm making so many mistakes into turn one. You know, I can't even count them now. I think we've had about six different lockups on six different laps as Bottas comes in for his pit stop. We continue on as we now watch on Sainz battling Hamilton and the Ferrari fancies the third place or the second place, sorry. Uh, Hamilton, though, keeps it for now. Norris also right up the gearbox of Sainz. So that's a three-way battle brewing. But Button has also also continued on as we watch Guan Yu Zhou and a fantastic overtake for the Chinese driver. He's up into P7, but uh, Button, yeah, he's not pit as well. So because he is in an actual direct championship fight with Gasly, now I'm 20 points back. I don't know how this race is going to end, but right now, mathematically, Button's got a better chance of fighting Gasly. So for his sake, I continue on for two more laps. I, I'm being a nice teammate to him. And I've let him pit earlier than I have. So I've gone one lap longer than he has. And now I'm in on lap 12. And oh my god, we nearly broke our front wing on the wall. I'm not going to lie there. On the right hand side, we uh, cut that very, very fine. And we're in now, finally, for our what, what should be our one and only pit stop, I think, this uh, tonight here in Jeddah for the medium compound attire. Everyone, apart from Gast and a few people that pit early, uh, are on the mediums. And there is Bottas. Can we actually still remain uh, ahead of him as we were in the last corner before he made his pit stop? Yes, we are, but oh my God. Did you see how close that was? On the front left, Bottas nearly actually tapped us on the right-hand side tyre there. That is so fine. This is turning into the battle of a century. And it's with Valtteri Bottas in a Williams. Fantastic. Meanwhile, you can see now lap 13, Gasly is in P11 behind Button now on the hard compound tyre. Button up into P7. So this is good news for JB. This is good news for me as well because Gasly has no points at the moment. But we've got one very quick flying fin behind me in second trying to ruin this first place we've got right now. And Norris is on fire. He He's purple and he's closing up to me and Bottas as he squeezed the fin onto the left hand side but he's got through with DRS. We're going to try and outbreak him and this time finally we have an okay turn one to actually match him toe to toe squeeze him out a little bit in turn two and actually maintain the lead. I think that's the first time we actually got turn one pinpoint correctly with the car either on the inside or the outside there but Bottas keeps the pressure on in sector one the AI have got me. Look how much quicker Bottas is in sector one. Land Lando's flying. He's already there. We nearly make a mistake. We nearly half spin on the curb. The AI, like I said in qualifying, they're so much better than me at sector one. And in the banking, I get my pants absolutely pulled down because Bottas, there he is. He's just done me around the outside at the banking. 
absolutely incredible. I, my jaw dropped to the floor when that moment happened. I actually didn't believe an AI, any AI, let alone Bottas's AI, was going to do me on the outside there. But we're going to come back at him as we commit to the inside and go so late on the brakes. Dab at the brakes, turn left, flick it in, and then get the power on as early as he dare and go up the gears, deploy ERS, try and break the toe. Bottas, oh, nearly puts it in the wall. This is so, so close. It's a bumpy old ride into the last corner. Norris is there as well. We go defensive to the inside. Lando! Dies down the inside, Bottas pinches him, and Lando, oh no, he's got an issue, the McLaren stopped in the last corner, what happened, the safety car's out, and oh, Bottas nearly narrowly clouts the back of the McLaren, they all do, that's why the safety car's out, because that is such a dangerous place for a car to be stopped, but what happened, what happened? Bottas goes for a move. We go defensive on the inside. I was always going to do that, but I did not expect the McLaren to dive down the inside here. Bottas locks up, tries to turn in, and then... Uh, I don't actually know what, what that is. That He didn't really make that much massive contact with Bottas or myself. Um, but whatever happened, uh, his car just stopped, or his AI decided to stop. Uh, maybe just stopping himself from crashing straight into the wall, maybe. I don't know, but Bottas with a big lock-up. That kind of invites the McLaren in, and then he gets pinched in. But Bottas then gets the world, the most worldy exit. I don't understand how, the, how he's made that work. He's actually got a worse entry and got a better exit uh, off that final bend to get first place just before the safety car comes out. And then this was uh, all the cars behind, narrowly missing uh, Lando's car. <laughs> That's literally an inch away from Button's race being over. He is so, so lucky. But uh, in that whole altercation, I'm asking my team about vehicle condition, and they tell yeah, me this. The front wing, you've taken some minor damage. No, I've got a bit of damage on the front wing, just a little bit. I don't know where we picked it up. I think it may have been in that altercation with Lando and Valtteri. I don't know. We grazed the wall racing Bottas, but our, our front wing is slightly damaged. It's not enough to even show up on the heads-up display. Like, it's not even showing lime green. So, we're on lap 16 going on to 17. So, we've got, you know, less than 10 laps to go of this entire Grand Prix. It's, it's not worth for us to pit. And the damage actually isn't too bad. So in a weird way, we're going to kind of maybe try and emulate Hamilton in real life with a slightly damaged wing, just a little bit. We're going to try and still win this Grand Prix. The difference is we're fighting a flying Finn, not a flying Dutchman as we go into turn one now. And we're trying to get P1 lock up on the front left. We narrowly, narrowly go side by side Bottas. But crucially, we give him the space to stay within the white lines. And we have a fair fight on the exit of turn two. And we actually win out somehow. The front wing damage, like I said, it's not even enough to show off on the heads-up display. So it's not enough to really slow us down too much. I am losing some time, I will say, in Sector 1. But Sector 2 and 3, we're still fine. Because obviously, you don't need too much downforce in those sectors. So we're doing okay. And we're trying our best to maintain P1. Meanwhile, JB fighting with Carlos Sainz. Trying to get up into P4. That would be brilliant for Jensen. He's in P5 right now. Gasly, P9. They're both in the points. But they're three wide. Look at the Williams. Grand you Joe on the inside. Button makes a double overtake, maybe. And oh, oh, the Ferrari. Oh, no. The Ferrari's hit Jensen. And Button has damage on the front side. The front left side of his front wing. He overtook Sainz with a, uh, it was a three wide moment as Grand you Joe joined the party. Button was overtaking the Ferrari. This is a replay then. The Chinese driver gets in the middle. Button the long way around. He actually makes a good overtake. But then I don't know what happened with the Ferrari. Uh, oh, what the... That is the weirdest bit of contact I've ever seen there. Sainz didn't really even necessarily spin into Jensen, like, really properly there, but they both come off with damage, and now Sainz is becoming a blockade as it's three abreast between Schumacher, the Aston, and the Alpine. Three wide in the banking, because look at this, it's like a swarm of bees. Sainz is going so slow with the damage that he's holding everyone up. Button's doing the same to Verstappen. We ride on board with Gasly, because this is the only way we can know what the hell's going on here with onboards, because the offboard shots are just not not accurate enough, and we've got oh, Tsunoda is trying to give Gasly a real old race. This is not what you need from a teammate who's not in the championship fight. Tsunoda going to overtake Gasly as they're side by side still through this section. Meanwhile, Guan Yu Zhou and Verstappen trying to get Button. This is an insane view. Look at all the chaos. Verstappen on the inside. Guan Yu Zhou will get Button eventually because Button surely has to come in. Meanwhile, we're still doing the job in peace. 
won as there's a massive crash at the last corner and you just knew it was going to happen. You just knew it. There were too many cars going side by side. It was like a swarm of bees, as I said. And the swarm has hit a tree because the two Alpines are out. Gasly, Gasly got caught up in that. He's not out of the Grand Prix, though. It's a miracle for the Frenchman. An absolute miracle. Button is in. The full course safety car is here. So under the safety car, Button will pit. He's onto softs. And Gasly, as well, will go onto the soft compound attire. And under this third safety car, there's another twist in this tail. Because I've looked at my heads-up display, and my front wing's got worse. We know it can happen well, with the front floor damage as well. If you go over, over curbs, the front wing can deteriorate if it's already damaged. And it has done. So now, I've actually got a lime green indication on my front wing but we've only got well it'll be four laps to go once this safety car comes in because it'll go it'll continue on for another lap so we've only got four laps there is no point in me pitting for this damage but now that the damage is actually an indicated lime green i will actually feel that especially in sector one so this is going to be a job and a half. We've got a four lap sprint race. I'm in the lead with a slightly broken front wing. A very quick boss ass in second place. I don't know what position Button and Gasly are in. But they're both on fresh soft tyres. Having changed their front wing and tyres under the safety car. So how far can they jump up the order? Because the rest of us are all on worn mediums. Very worn mediums. So they're going to be. They're going to have to go like the clappers. To try and recover in this race. This is going to be such an interesting last four laps of this Grand Prix. We go into lap 22. We go green from first place and we get a great launch off this safety car. We catch Bottas napping and into turn one already, though. I'm feeling the on this here. You can see it visually. I'm having to turn the steering wheel so much and Bottas might have a look on our inside. No, not quite. Bottas ducks out of the back. Hamilton! Hamilton commits to the left hander and smashes into the back of the fin. More drama, more chaos at Jeddah as Hamilton now is driving without a front wing and look what he's doing. He He's holding up everyone. What is going on? What is going on? He's holding up everyone. And Bottas, meanwhile, is going for a move. We've locked up and Bottas switchbacks us. And Bottas is into the lead. And I can't. I don't have any answer. My front wing's too damaged. I can't. But Hamilton behind, he's still holding up everyone. We've got a five-second gap to P3, which is now Guan Yu Zhou. Because Hamilton is a literal mobile chicane without a front wing here. Guan Yu Zhou, it's a 1-3 for Williams. It's a 1-3 for Williams at Jeddah here. And Hamilton is still P4. Look at what's happening. He's backing everyone up. And this is just another crash waiting to happen. It's four wide briefly in the streets of Saudi Arabia. Where is Button? Button's P12, P11 now. Look, at this. this is just ridiculous. This looks so, so comical. I've got to break the fourth wall for commentary for a second and just say how ridiculous it is that Hamilton is managing to block everyone without a front wing. This is just stupendous. Look at this. Look at this. It's like it's like a junior formula categories. It's literally Noah's Ark. It's two by two. And Jensen, he's up into P11, P10. Can it be P9, P9, P8? It's going to be even more, maybe, because Lance Stroll is there. Can he make a move into turn one? No, not quite. It's uh, Leclerc v Schumacher, but Button it gets up into P8, and he's still got three whole laps to go on the freshest tyres available to him. And the same for Gasly, but Gasly's down to P15, so Gasly, he needs to pull off his socks and hope for a miracle of his own if he wants to try and limit the damage today in terms of the points, because Jensen looks like he wants it. He is driving for his life here and he's going for a move on Lance Stroll now. This has been such a good lap for him. I mean the last half of the lap was good as well uh, as they went across the line of course and he just made a sensational move around the outside. He's up into P7. Meanwhile Gasly just made a move on Lungard. Up into P14. Sonoda is up next. Can he try and clear his teammate? Well his teammate let him pass. He kind of should do but we've seen Sonoda fight Gasly before in this race. So what's going to go on there? And meanwhile further up the road because of that uh, Hamilton incident we've got a massive gap to Guan Yu Zhou and then an even bigger gap 
gap to myself and Bottas. We're one second behind Valtteri. We've got two laps to go. You saw the lock up into the last corner. I'm pushing as hard as I can. Every straight, we are gaining. Just like Hamilton was on Verstappen in real life. We're gaining every straight. Sector two and three, we're gaining. But sector one, Bottas has the advantage. As now we watch Jensen on the back of Mick Schumacher. Will he go for another move into turn one? The long way around the Red Bull. <laughs> can't do it. He can't. Button up into P6. Up into B was P15 at one point. Just before as we went uh, uh, to green from the safety car. Gasly with a move on the inside of the TV. He needs this move. He's up into P12 and he carries on. But he's still looking at the back of Yuki Tsunoda. If Sonoda catches Ilot and overtakes him, you've got to surely think if Gasly's in P11, they've got to swap it around, but they just won't. There's no kind of uh, programming in the game for that. Sonoda, he's also on the softs, actually, sorry. He must have pit as well, maybe, uh, with damage. So he's on the soft. So, I mean, I think Gasly's going to find it hard to overtake Sonoda here. This is a massive, massive coup for Button and for myself. We've not got the win. We're still trying to go for it. Button is securing P6. Gasly is down in P12, we're in P2 but we're on to the last lap of the Grand Prix and I'm pushing and I'm still setting personal best lap times but Bottas is quick, he's very quick and we've got that damage but it's the last lap of the Grand Prix, the lowest fuel we're going to push on, I'm going to dig deep and try my best to see if we can do anything to maybe get Bottas on the last lap in the last sector, meanwhile Button continues to press on, P6 wasn't enough, Button is up into P5, what a recovery recovery drive. He was in P15 under that last safety car. He's now in the top five as now it's three abreast between Gasly and Sonoda and Sonoda puts up the uh, defense. The two Alpha Tauris overtake Eilat but Sonoda stays ahead of Gasly and is actually actively defending against him. This is controversial. It's civil war in Alpha Tauri surely. This is going to be infuriating for the Frenchman. Gasly out the points in P11 right now. So Noda puts up a defence to try and keep that one final points paying position and every point could matter in the finale at Abu Dhabi. So that's big. That's big news for Alpha Tauri. It's horrendous news for Gasly. Button P5 and here we are then. One final straight. One last corner. We are so far back. DRS open but we're just going to try and send it and we get so so close. We've had the lap of our life. Literally, this was my best lap of Jeddah because with a broken front wing, I think we may just come through to set the fast lap of the Grand Prix. We dug deep there, but it wasn't enough. Valtteri Bottas wins his second race for Williams this season. We come home in P2. I think that's a noble effort considering the damage we had. What a fight with Valtteri. What a fight, but what a drive from Jensen. So, another fantastic victory for Williams today. With that result, the sport's newest team can no longer be touched at the top of the table. What an incredible journey this has been for a team many have written off a short time ago. They are Formula One World Champions. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Taking care of the car was absolutely vital today. It's been obvious all weekend that the pace was there, but look at the attrition rate we've had. They would have been very concerned about any minor anomaly towards the latter stages of this Grand Prix. Oh, here they are now. I always love seeing the independent teams do well. Williams have a long and storied history with F1, and I'm delighted to see them on the top step of the podium. Like I've said before, we have a regulation change for next season, for the season five of this career mode. So I think you need to savour this if you're liking Bottas and you're liking Williams being up there because there's no guarantee Williams will still be a top team next season. In this second last race, they win and they get a 1-3, which should surely overtake them in the constructors uh, against McLaren because both McLarens had DNFs today. But... What a hectic race. Bottas, myself, Granu Joe, Verstappen, Button P5, Leclerc, Sainz, Stroll, Sonoda. Gasly does get P10 because Schumacher had a penalty. So Gasly does get one measly point in this race. What a roller coaster of emotions. And it means going into the final race of the season at Yas Marina, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Jensen Button leads the way by one point to Pierre Gasly and three points ahead of myself. Three points in it between three drivers. 
It is game on for Yas and Rina. But, but don't get it twisted. We had such a great race, but you know, looking at the pace of Button today, and even the pace of Gasly at the start of the race, that had they not got those penalties, they would have been right up there. They probably would have beaten me, actually. I'm going to be completely frank and, you know, honest with myself. You know, they are quicker right now. And so I, I hope for their sake, I hope for the championship's sake, we don't have any penalties to talk about at Yas Marina. And if there isn't... It is going to be a very hard fight because Button and Gasly, their AI are over 90 focus. I think both of them now. They're so, so quick. They're literally firing on all cylinders. This is going to be maybe one of the hardest championship fights we've had, uh, even though we're, we're right back in it. You know, I'm, I'm not mistaking the fact that Button and Gasly, their AI have such, such amazing pace. But what an incredible race. I thought last race was something eh, on lap one. We've had some incredible races this season. This may just be the cherry on top. That was such an unbelievable debut for Jeddah in my team career mode. We've won the Constructors. Myself and JB, a great partnership with Arava Jensen RGN. We've won the championship. That's our third Constructors on this game. But can we get our second driver's title next time out? Or will it be Jensen's second title? Or will it be Pierre Gasly's? first ever world championship find out next time find out abu dhabi till then guys hope you enjoy the rest of your day i'll see you guys next time goodbye